Welcome to the Fasties, Thrillist Fast Food Award Show. Tonight, we'll be giving out Golden Burger Awards for the best fast food fried chicken sandwich, chain of the year, best fries, and more. We have some drive through luminaries dressed in the height of fast food fashion, an adult-sized ball pit, and the story of a man who won free White Castle for life. There's even a competitive eater on hand to consume a disturbingly large fantasy smorgasbord of fast food in one agonizing sitting. But first, here are your hosts for the evening, Timothy De La Ghetto and David So. You guys ready to have a good time? Do you guys like fast food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the first ever Fasty Awards. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. Oh my God, it's about to be so lit. <laughs> lit. So lit. All right, so, uh, you know, in the beginning, uh, Thrillist was like, because they know I rap and stuff, so they were like, can you, can you do a freestyle? And I was like, ugh. Give me a beat. Oh God, there's <laughs> a lot of pressure. <laughs> Boom, chick. Yo. Boom, boom, chick. Yo. Boom, chick. Yo. Boom, boom, chick. Hey, Get I love going. everybody. Uh. I don't mean to be rude. What? But we here to gather around because we love fast food. What? Uh. Uh, and I don't mean to name drop, but shout out to my boy in the front, Dame Drops. Uh, hey. Yo, they saying, if you please, go to Mickey D's, quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, 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 and just like Taco Bell, we about to get it cracking like taco shells. Uh, 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 Fire. And I, and I talk so well. Uh, the end. Yeah. Talent. Bang. Well, it's time to kick off the very first award of the night. Yes, David. In 2020, plant-based burgers became super popular across the nation, and there's no doubt that our first category is highlighting this health-centric trend. David, do you like plant-based burgers more than real burgers? Hell no, but they're not that bad. They're okay. They're okay. You know, it seemed like plant-based meat took over every fast chain this year, like the Impossible Whopper, the Impossible Sliders from White Castle. <laughs> Growing up, the only time I dealt with anything impossible was trying to lose my virginity before prom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, inappropriate. I feel like, I feel like we've matured. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's why up. here are the nominees for the best plant-based burger in fast food. Woo. a and Beyond Burger. Burger King, Impossible Whopper. Carl's Jr., Beyond Famous Star with Cheese. Carl's Jr., Beyond Barbecue Star. White Castle, Impossible Slider. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and the winner is... White Castle, Impossible Slider. Wow. Wow. And here to accept the award is White Castle's Vice President, Jamie Richardson and Chef Philip Fatch, Director of Product Innovation. Long live Sliders! It's an honor to be here with our esteemed colleagues, and we'd like to thank Chef Philip because this was his idea. He and his team brought the Impossible Slider, just like our founder did in the very beginning. When we started, it was about great value in every one of our neighborhoods. He didn't think you should have to pay that much to go out for a meal. You can get this for a dollar, well, not this, but you can get the Impossible Slider, <laughs> Impossible Slider for $1.79 at the castle. So crave on, my friends, and let's hear it for Chef Phil. I want to shout out that uh, we're accepting this award on, on behalf of the whole entire White Castle family and team. Uh, I want to thank Jamie and the family, the Ingram family. Next year, we're celebrating our 100th year. So, uh, you know, it's hard to keep a brand that iconic, that historical, relevant, but uh, the family has allowed us to do that. So, uh, onward to the next project. Thank you, and long live Sliders. So if me and David did a movie where we went to White Castle, it would be Harold and Harold go to White Castle. Because <laughs> we're both Asian. <laughs> 
All right, so you've probably heard of those Willy Wonka style fast food sweepstakes offering a lifetime supply of food to one lucky winner, right? Yes, I have. But what happens when you actually win? Huh. Well, we recently <laughs> caught up with Bill from Staten Island who won a lifetime supply of White Castle in 2012. Check it out. Are and you just into dressing up in general, or is it Hawaiian all the time for you? No, there's a few different things I'll wear. Like, uh, this is my collection of Hawaiian shirts I have here. What's your favorite one? I would say the one I have on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a suit that oh I wore God. for Halloween one year. I was I dressed up as a Day of the Dead character with the makeup on the face and everything. And my wife did the same thing. We actually won the contest. I usually win the contest every year or come in second. How did the like Crave Nation like sweepstakes come about? It was just a random drawing. I think they had like 150,000 entries, and I won. I called my wife up for work, and God, I think I won a lifetime supply of White Castle hamburgers. This is part of the thing that they gave me back in uh, when I won the uh, award that was presented to me at the Highland Boulevard location on Staten Island. And you can see what it says. Really citizen of the Craver Nation. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of this, and my wife has let me keep it on the wall since 2012. So it was, this was like a one and done. You're the only member of this. Yes. So when they gave you that, they also gave you the stack of the gift cards? Yes. So like how, how many was it? Like can you? There was 125 of those in stacks of 25. That's so each crazy. one was like this, all wrapped in plastic. <laughs> $100 on each one. Did, did your doctor say anything during this time? Or I bought it... them a case to <laughs> pay them off. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to go to White Castle with you. I mean, for me, this is going to be my first time. Um, You've never had a White Castle? Do you find yourself always more leaning towards White Castle? Yes. I have McDonald's across the street, it's always White Castle. <laughs> no question. <laughs> no question. It's just the allure of White Castle. Come on, they made a movie about the place. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Harold and Kumar didn't go to McDonald's, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Do you ever get nostalgic while eating them? <laughs> I always remember the first time I had it with well, my mom and dad and the family in the station wagon pulling in. So what do you think? How do you like it? Did you try it yet? I haven't ate it yet, but I'll, I'll take a bite right now. Mm. I didn't know there were pickles. I love pickles. Oh my God. It's actually 100% beef. They'll lay the onions out on the grill, take the patty, put it over the onions, then put the bun on top of it and let it steam there. They don't even flip the meat over, they just let the whole meat steam in there. And then, it, like, what, what else is on it? It's just meat and onion, or is it? Meat, onions, ketchup, and pickles. I'm in a league called the Mediocre Bowling Association, and we get together once a month for like five or six events a year, and we just have a good time bowl, and it's a good group of people. Attention! Who would like a delicious White Castle hamburger? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, grab it out, Jack. I know you're a big fan. You've given away quite a bit of the cards, huh? Oh, I gave away a lot to family, friends. I was going to say, family seems to be really important to you. It's always good to take care of your friends and everybody. And that's what family's all about. 100%. Are you excited to come to the award show? I'm invited to it. Damn, now that was a whole lot of White Castle. You know what, we actually have Bill in the audience tonight. What's up, Bill? How you doing? Make some noise, everybody make some noise for Bill. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make some noise for my boy, David So over there. Well, hello, everybody. Um, so, here we have Mickey Sudo. Mickey, say hi. Hi, everyone. So, Mickey Sudo is like the Michael Jordan of competitive eating, and by that, I mean she wins a lot. Not that she has a, an addiction to gambling. I did not write that joke. Michael Jordan, I love you. Uh, as one of the top-ranked female competitive eaters in the world, she has won the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest for the past six years in a row. Tonight, my friends, she's going to set a thrillist world record for the most fast food eaten in one 
sitting. You're such a tiny little Japanese girl. I don't know how this is all going to go down. This is insane. How many pounds do you think this is right here? That's really tough to say. I'd say about 10, maybe. We've got a couple desserts over here. Wings, pizza, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, Taco Bell. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to weigh me before and after and find out. <laughs> cool. You ready to do this? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Tim, right back to you. Uh, more and more fast food places are serving breakfast all day long, which is always a good idea after a night of partying. Which brings us to our next category, best breakfast sandwich. Here are the nominees. Wendy's Breakfast Baconator. Subway Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. McDonald's Bacon, Egg, and Cheese McGriddle. Chick-fil-A Chicken Biscuit. Taco Bell Breakfast Crunch Wrap with Bacon. And the winner is Chick-fil-A Chicken Biscuit. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so uh, Chick-fil-A couldn't make it. So uh, we got two Thrillist correspondents stopping by in Jersey to present the award to one of the chains and they have no idea that they're about to get an award. Let's see what happens. Hi, it's Jen. And I'm Will. And we're here from Thrillist and we're on our way to New York. Oh, Hey, it's Jen. And I'm Will. Oh, yeah, you to I was. Hi, it's Jen. And I'm Will. And we're going to go to Chick-fil-A in New Jersey to do something pretty cool. We're hand-delivering a fast award for the best breakfast sandwich. We're totally going to surprise him. It's go time. It is. Uh, I control the radio? Yeah. Cool. What do you like? Uh, R&B? Smooth uh, R&B? country. Whoa. Let's go. And I have something for you. For me personally, for me. Congratulations. Chick-fil-A <laughs> has won a Fasty Award for the best Woo! breakfast sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. We love your chicken biscuit and Thank we love a much. speech for all the fans out there that also love it. Too many moments to say. <laughs> Anything you want from the heart. Um, well, it's a pleasure and I'm sure the owner or operator Ken Walsh would enjoy this as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Did I say we're from Thrillist? Yeah. Okay. I think, I don't know, it was good. You guys having a good time? Make some noise for Chick-fil-A one more time. Yo, oh my god, hey, I'm feeling this mask, bro. What was your inspiration for this mask right here? Thank you, thank you, Wolf. You see my ring, it's a Fanta ring. Okay. So it's Fanta mm, of the fasties. <laughs> Bars. That was amazing. Oh, damn, with the pizza earrings, too. Wow, pizza and ranch, perfect combination. Perfect combination. All right, now I'm gonna toss it to my boy, David. So what you got going on over there, bro? Hey, well, before we go on to the next category, let's all look at the best fast food clapbacks of the year, <laughs> shall we? Ooh, at Wendy's, what would you call this? Is it a garbage truck? Damn. Wow. Black Friday, need copy and link. Mm. Fire that intern. Mm. When the tweets are as broken as the ice cream machine. Damn. Facts. Facts. And what the fuck? That, that is not, that was a private collection. Wow. Well, uh, McDonald's, please sponsor me. Oh, God. With Wendy's four for four dollars, you'd be able to cover both nipples. Okay. Damn. I didn't know McDonald's sold pepperoni. I didn't know McDonald's so All right, let's move on, people. <laughs> well, here are the nominees for the best burgers in fast food. Wendy's, Dave's Double. What a burger. Double Meat Whataburger, Culver's, Butter Burger Cheese, McDonald's, Quarter Pounder with Cheese, In-N-Out Burger, Double Double. <laughs> and the winner is... Wow, wow, what an upset. 
Culver's Butter Burger Cheese. And we have Quinn Atkins, Culver's Director of Menu Development, to accept this award. Hopefully he can explain what Culver's is, because I have no damn idea. All right. Wow. Wow. This is a really, really, really big deal. Um, the nominees in this category represent serious burger DNA in our country. And thank you so much for this award. It is an honor to be recognized truly among some of the most iconic brands in our industry. You know, as Culver's chef, it's actually a really, really nice relief to have a classic signature menu item that I know I'll never have to do anything to. So why mess with perfection? Something that was created back in 1984 and let's be honest, a little less work for me as well. And I know my fellow chefs out there know what I'm talking about. So every butter burger that we serve represents our dedication to quality. Fresh, never frozen US beef, always cooked to order. Butter burgers really are our pride and joy. In fact, you know how some people, a lot of people have, you know, photos of their kids or their pets on their phone? Well, Seriously, mine's a butter burger. No, no, seriously, it's a, it's a Culver's Deluxe. Thank you very, very much for this award. This means a great deal. We're, we're, we're just really, really happy to represent our brand tonight. Thank you very much. Well, there are so many different types of fries. True. How many can you name? Curly fries. The French fries. <laughs> Criss cut fries. Shoestring fries, which I hate. Uh, yeah. Waffle fries are the same as criss cut fries. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potatoes. Um, um, oh God. Bigger question, <laughs> who got the best fries? Here are the nominees for the chain with the best fries in fast food. McDonald's fries, Arby's curly fries, Chick-fil-A waffle potato fries, Taco Bell nacho fries, Checkers and Rally's famous seasoned fries. And the winner is... <clears throat> oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Another upset. Arby's curly fries! Hi, I'm Neville Craw, and I'm actually the real head of sandwiches at Arby's and executive chef. Thrillist, thank you so much for the honor of best fry for the curly fry. The war has raged far too long on who has the best fry, and it feels amazing for us at Arby's to become victorious over this debate. Thank you so much again, and hopefully we'll see you again next year. All right, so congrats to all of our winners so far. And shame on the losers, do better. More seasoning. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break so we can pay for all that food Miki is eating. And when we get back, we'll actually check in on Miki and see how much she's eaten. I bet it's a lot. Probably. Welcome back to the Fasties. The following awards were presented earlier this evening. Best coffee. Culver's. Best new menu item of the year, Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. Best Chicken Tenders, Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. Best Dessert, Yoshinoya Cheesecake. Best Taco, Del Taco, The Del Taco. Best Sauce, Culver's Wisconsin Cheddar Cheese Sauce. And welcome back to the Fasties. Miki, you have destroyed a crap ton of food. What the hell, huh? So, uh, so far, what's your favorite? Uh, it's hard to pick. I had the uh, Domino's pasta for the first time. Not too bad. Well, so what's the plan in order to devour the rest of this food? I'm trying to save the dessert for last, but that might be next as well. Wow, I am thoroughly disgusted. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, what can I say? Uh, back to you, Tim. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys, I know we've had a lot of laughs tonight, <laughs> but it's time to get a little sentimental. We've lost a lot of great fast food this year, so we wanted to toss up a little tribute to the dishes that are no longer with us. Let's pour one out for the ones that didn't make it to 2020. 
so hard to say goodbye. Facts. It almost brings a tear to your eye. I don't know how I'm going to live without those ranch Doritos Tacos Locos. Well, you'll probably live a lot longer. True, 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 true. Facts. Well, let's stop dwelling on the past and look to the present, all right? No menu item in fast food was bigger this year than the chicken sandwich. This was truly the year of the fast food chicken sandwich. Popeyes created a media frenzy. People were fighting, Twitter wars, uh, just down the block from my house, the 24-hour Popeyes. It was hectic. Car accident. I saw it on Twitter. It was, it was crazy. viral. It was crazy. So here are the nominees for best fried chicken sandwich in fast food. Popeyes chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. McDonald's buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. KFC Crispy Colonel Sandwich. Carl's Jr. Big Filet Chicken Sandwich. And the winner is, of course, the Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. Woo! Oh my God. And here to accept the award, we have an actual Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. Wow. 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 Who knows? Who, who knew it would be so woke with its speech? That's crazy. It was so loud. Wow. Do you have anything else to Gotta say? Gotta wrap it Probably up. Probably not. Oh! <laughs> Our next category is interesting. We're looking at the best regional chains, meaning places who haven't made it national yet. Ooh, yeah, this is a good one. People love their homegrown fast food spots. It's true. I know people that will fly all the way to California just to get their favorite fast food burger. Man, that's crazy, because the furthest I've ever went for some in and out was your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the first I ever went was to your dad to tell you had sex with my mom, so in your face. <clears throat> anyway, here are the nominees for the best regional fast food chain. Whataburger, Bojangles, Del Taco, In-N-Out Burger, Culver's. And the winner is, okay. Wow, it's Culver's once again. Let's bring Quinn from Culver's back on our beer. Now that we all know what Culver's is, here we go. So this is how Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt felt. Um, so a <laughs> huge, huge thank you to, to Thrillist for this award. Uh, especially given the caliber of the other nominees, it is humbling and a true honor to be here. You know, if being on Twitter has taught me anything, many things, um, it's that people are really passionate about their regional chains. I mean, really passionate. Like, can anyone recommend a local shop where I could get some body armor? Because Shake Shack and In-N-Out are going to be mad when they find this out. Our fans, though, are going to be thrilled and they're a very, very loyal bunch. In fact, 
The food pyramid in the Midwest, this is not commonly known, but the food pyramid in the Midwest by popular vote is actually in the shape of a pint of Culver's fresh frozen custard. <laughs> True story, true story. In all seriousness, from our start in Sauk City, Wisconsin in 1984 to our 740 plus restaurants in 25 states today, this is for our fans who have helped us get to where we are. And a special shout out to the 30,000 True Blue Crew team members that live and breathe our bedrock of hospitality and quality ingredients each and every day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Quinn. Now, David and I know a thing or two about making it big on YouTube. It's literally our jobs. But we want to learn more about one of our favorite fast food influencers because, yeah, that's a thing. Weird, right? So we followed around the legend himself, Dame Drops, to take a peek inside his life. Check it out. What's going on, my sexy pieces? It's time for us to get busy because over here at Wendy's, they messed around with the jalapeno chicken sandwich. Well, you kind of little, ain't you, boo? Well, why are you so tiny? Hold on. Did they give me the wrong? Oh, 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 wait, time out. They didn't even give me the right sandwich. You had one job. One. Before I even started shooting YouTube videos, I was a retail manager for 14 years. In the parking lot, I had an hour lunch break. Everything that I had for lunch, ends up being placed on YouTube. In the comment section, people are like, hey, can you come to Subway? Because we have this and we want to hear what you think about it. So then that became my channel, going to different locations based on requests to do these food reviews. I was the first channel to do in-car food reviews. The demand was fast food, always been fast food. It doesn't matter where you live, you have access to fast food. Fast food culture has definitely evolved. In the beginning, they had their base items on the menu. And you had that for years. They weren't really going outside the box. But now, it's more of a competition. What's happening now is everybody's looking for the next big thing. And because everything is based off social media, it only makes sense for these QSRs to create something so massive that social media has to jump on it. I love your reviews on YouTube. Thank you. you know, <laughs> damn, man, I love it. Appreciate you. I have to be energetic for myself, and then I have to be energetic for those that follow my madness. I'm just as excited to meet somebody today as I was to meet them years ago. Because at the end of the day, these are the people that support what it is that you're doing. That's the greatest feeling. Like, I knew I did all of this for a reason, beyond just myself. Too much of anything in excess is gonna get to you one way or another, right? And I remember when I first started doing YouTube, I was finishing everything that I ordered. Weight-wise, I got to a point where I was well over 400 pounds. So then it became sampling foods. I didn't have to finish everything. I could still give a food review, taking one or two bites and then being done with the rest. For me personally, to make sure that I'm here for my kids, I gotta do what it is that I have to do. I gotta make sure that I create some type of balance. I think we all want the same thing. At the end of the day, you just want to make sure there's something of you in every household. Something that will remind the people of, of who you are, who you were, whatever the case may be. You got to leave behind a sort of legacy, if you will. I consider myself the fast food titan. If I didn't get hyped about it, then there is no hype about it. You see what I'm saying to you? Like, the hype got to start with daddy. Fast food establishments, no, they can't deliver no fire without coming past the threshold. I am the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 that guy might have a better life than we do, Tim. I mean, Thriller still picked us to host the Fasties, though, right? Well, that's true, but guess what? We have Dame in the house tonight. Come on up, Dame. Come on up, Dame. <laughs> Got a secret mic for you and everything. Don't ask where I had that hidden right now. So what's up, Dad? You know, another day of the hustle, baby. You hey, know how man. I do. Are you having so a good time? How you feeling, man? Imagine having an amazing time. Right amazing time. Right amazing cool. time. <laughs> I feel so, like you could protect me for the rest of my life. I got you. I got you covered, bro. I got you covered. Oh my God, your head on my neck. Okay. <laughs> 
You look like our adopted child. <laughs> It's a new reality TV show. Can we go to McDonald's after this? <laughs> I'm here to announce a very special category of the night, the Lifetime Achievement Award for Contribution in Fast Food. This special item means so much to me, and I know many others as well. Let's take a look. Fast food's biggest hero comes in a surprisingly small package. About 300 BC, Chinese farmers mixed fermented fish and various spices to make the earliest known version of ketchup. 1700, British sailors go to Southeast Asia and discover ketchup. They take it back to Europe and add ingredients like beer, pickles, and tomatoes. And then a bunch of other unrelated stuff happens. 1876, Henry J. Hines starts manufacturing Hines ketchup in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, creating modern ketchup as we know it. Shortly after, Hunts introduces their cat sub, aka the Garfunkel of the ketchup world, and then a bunch of other unrelated stuff happens. 1921, White Castle, the first ever fast food restaurant, opens featuring ketchup as the original fast food sauce. 1940s, the world is at war. But like Switzerland, ketchup stays neutral. 1950s, McDonald's, Burger King, in and out open. Fast food explodes in popularity and ketchup explodes alongside it. This is when ketchup becomes synonymous with burgers, fries, and drive throughs and stars as a base ingredient for barbecue sauce, secret sauce, and more. 1968, Heinz introduces the ketchup packet. It's the seminal moment of a generation, besides Woodstock and the moon landing, and also Watergate too, I guess. To have served in this office, is to have felt a very personal sense of ketchup. 1978, Jimmy Buffett famously declares that he likes his burgers with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57 and french fried potatoes, reintroducing ketchup to a new generation of soft rock fans. 1981, Ronald Reagan is sworn into office and immediately declares ketchup a vegetable. 1998, Bill Clinton impeached. 1999, Bill Clinton acquitted. 2000, Heinz introduces easy squirt colored ketchup, setting the condiment industry back literal decades. 2008, the rise of hipster culture leads to a big uptick in annoying artisanal ketchups. 2020, Heinz alone sells 11 billion ketchup packets per year, and despite literally hundreds of fast food sauces available, the original standard remains the most popular condiment in America. Ketchup's influence on the fast food world can't be understated. Mother of condiments, possibly a vegetable, definitely Chinese, our ultimate fast food icon. Thank you, ketchup, for all that you are and all that you do for us. Wow, I love me some ketchup. What do you like ketchup with? Well, first of all, I didn't know that ketchup was, was invented by our people. Damn straight it was. That's amazing, we did that. Hell yeah. We did that. Hell yeah. We did yes. that. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so y'all can uh, catch up. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, we'll have our final check-in with Nikki to see how she did. And we'll get to the biggest award of the night, Chain of the Year. So stick around. You'd be a dumbass to leave now. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm checking back in with Miki, and oh my God, you have done some damage right now. I made a dent in the spread. I'm seeing nothing but empty wrappers and, and empty shakes, and uh, what do you have left here? I've got just about a pizza left, two burgers, and uh, Crunch Wrap Supreme. Okay, well, let's, let's review one more time what you have gone through. Uh, I don't know, enough to feed a family for a week. Uh, I had two orders of pasta, an order of chicken wings, uh, 16 sandwiches, <coughs> uh, two of these milkshakes, and pardon me, something in my throat. It's okay, she's on the brink of tears she's eating so much. This is crazy right now. Uh, well, uh, uh, give it up for Miki one more time because she's going in, killing it. And now let's see what David So got going on. I would love to see the look on a Tinder date's face after she houses half the menu at the Cheesecake Factory. Baroque. Our next category was a tough one. We're looking at the menu item of the decade. KFC Double Down. White Castle Impossible Slider. McDonald's Szechuan Sauce. Taco Bell Doritos Locos Taco. Popeye's Chicken Sandwich. And the winner is, okay, Taco Bell for the Doritos Locos Taco. Here to accept this award all the way from Miami, our global chief food innovation officer, Liz Matthews, and international head of product development, Steve Gomez. Menu item of the decade. Wow, that is an amazing honor. Thank you so much, Thrillist. It's hard to believe that when we started this journey years ago, 
that this would happen and that this is actually still one of our number one selling items. This just goes to show what you can create when you combine two great things that people love. Crunchy tacos and Doritos really turned into one of the biggest ideas ever. Thank you so much. Wow. That was lit. All right, David, it's that time. This is the big one. Like, best picture status. No, man. I have this crazy feeling in my stomach. I'm so excited. All right, but for real, though, it's time for the biggest and last award of the night, Chain of the Year. Here are the nominees. Chick-fil-A, White Castle, Wendy's, Burger King, Popeyes. Here we go. Parasite! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Again? <laughs> And the actual winner is... Oh. Oh, holy crap, Popeyes! Chain of the year! Let's go back to Jen and Will in the field. They're at a Popeyes in New Jersey, ready to give the award out to a deserving chain that once again has no idea this is about to happen. What's up? I'm Will. I'm Jen. Today we're going to New Jersey to surprise an unsuspecting Popeyes with a Fassie Award for Chain of the Year. Yeah, they don't know that we're coming, so mm -hmm. it's a big secret. Super secret. This is the biggest award of the night of the Fassie, so it's kind of a big deal. It is a really big deal. We should go. I don't want to be late. Yeah, no. Although they don't know we're coming, so we can't be late. Honestly, this is our show. We're co-hosting. Let's go. These glasses make me look douchey, to be honest. Um, a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Right, right. I don't want to enter first. Yeah, you got it. You're kind of Right now? Yeah, right now. Go. Let's go. Two hot words. Two hot words. Hello. Hello. We're from Thrillist. We're here to tell you that Popeyes has won the Fasties for Chain of the Year. It's our biggest award. It's like the best picture for fast food. Oh, wow. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Would you like to say a few words on this great distinction? Um, thank Speech. you guys for the award. Um, my employees, they work really, really hard. Um, social media took over and the sandwich has become like the number one thing. So. Congratulations to Popeyes. Congratulations to you guys, because this was the first ever Fast Seas. Did y'all have a good time? Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to Thrillers. Thank you to all the fast food chains. Thank you to David So. Thank you to God. Thank you to my mom. I love you. Have a good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bitch. Bitch. Nuggets.